Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna show you how to convert uh, 6 hourly data to hourly data or from 6 hourly data to even 30 minute interval data. If you have even a daily series, you can convert it to hourly series as well. So we are just converting from higher time step to lower time step. So it is a, a little bit different than what we have done uh, if you wanna convert from lower time step to higher time step. If we have a time series data, uh, in uh, hourly step and if you want to convert it to daily step so the process is different then if you have a data that is in daily series and you want to convert it to hourly series okay so let me show you how to do that but sometimes we need to convert our data set right uh, that is uh, either in six hour interval or six hourly interval or daily interval or even monthly interval so we use different types of interpolation method so we'll do the same uh, thing for our directory where we have a lot of files. So we'll do this all together. We'll loop through the directory and it will convert every file, right? It doesn't matter that how many files you have. It will do it pretty quickly. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to do this in, right, uh, using Jupyter Notebook. So here I'm uh, showing you, I'm just editing my previous code. I'm uh, showing you that data set. So what I have, I have this data ndbc okay that is called ndbc data means uh, national data bui center so these are the data set bui data means these stations are located on the ocean right on the ocean so they measure usually the wind speed and pressure so today we'll convert the pressure only it is similar it will even convert the entire data frame okay and how many files we have we have 21 files and each of the file will let me just show you what we have inside this file so the first column is the date time okay we have the time see it is a uh, august 30 2018 and 7 30 so we have basically and so six hour right you can take a difference so we have six hour data interval so out of this six hour we want basically hourly interval okay then we have the pressure this pressure is in pascal and we have the x component of wind and we have y component of wind right in meter per second so we'll convert the entire data set in hourly series from six hourly series to hourly series so how can we do that and we have many files right we have even 21 sometimes you may have hundreds and thousands whatever the number of file is we'll do the same operation so what is the process you let me just copy the uh, directory right so that name of the directory i already have the other part so that is the name of the directory or folder i'm copying and i'm just editing my previous uh, directory so the input directory is that i have files there and i'm just importing because i need to read that file i have to open that csv file so in order to read the csv file using uh, pandas we're importing pandas as pd and if you want to see the plot but this time you won't see the plot you can check my previous tutorial so we don't even yeah need that we are gonna need the operating system we are importing this os and i'm even trying to save the hourly series in a different folder or different directory right so the name of the directory will be uh, that six hourly to ndvc six uh, hourly okay ndvc hourly ts so if this uh, folder is already there so it won't create otherwise it will create since it is a new folder there is nothing like that so it will create one folder and then we'll save everything inside that folder so then our main file six all it will be right it will be there it will be untossed so that is the command if the file is a folder is there it will not create otherwise it will create so we don't need to even display what is happening we'll check the series okay or we can even plot no problem we can do that or yeah even we can even uh, put it that way yeah let me okay and now i can uh, replace uh, that value we can plot every time we can plot and see there won't be much difference but we can check okay i'm running and the first thing we are putting matplotlib inline because if you want to see plot right on this panel you need to use matlab matplotlib inline so it will plot everything there and we are changing the directory to that because currently we are in different directory so that's how we need to go to 
our inside that directory where we have our files. We need to do different types of operation. We, we need to read all these files. So that is the command. We are using operating system to change the directory OS dot change read chd and then uh, we are specifying to which directory. So to that directory we are specifying inside that quotation mark. So, so then it will change our directory there and then we list every files right you may have different types of files csv files and text files and other types of files but if you want to read or list only those files that has the extension dot csv then we are just using that command so we are using for loop for file name in os dot listed means we are listing the directory using that command and we are checking if these files are ending with dot csv then only do the operation that we are assigning now right so it will print the file names and for the time being you already have idea about that i'm just splitting the file name okay it will split the first part and it will split the extension as well as before and i'm just uh, plotting the hourly pressure okay hourly pressure if i want to plot then it is the hourly pressure and then it will change the station name for that plot as title and now i'm reading use of these files because it is looping through the directory and checking if it is csv and now if it is csv then it is just splitting the name and it is uh, forming a new name using hourly right the original name underscore hourly dot csv and then it is specifying the title plot of hourly pressure at that station name because the file name is basically based on the station name and then we are reading for reading any csv file using yeah in python we need to use basically the pandas and we imported the pandas as pd and for reading that we need to use that that method read underscore csv and we are passing the file name because it will loop through each of this file name and it is the file name and then we are specifying the first column because that is the date time so that will be the index and because we'll use that date time index to convert because if we have the time that time then it is easy to convert otherwise it we won't be able to convert from hourly or daily whatever the things time is related there right that's why we need to have time dead time index and we are parsing the debt and then we are uh, reading we don't want to even print okay we can print the file after reading that we can print the data frame and then here we are converting right so that will be our data and we are resampling because our original data is in six hour and we are resampling we are resampling our data in hourly but that is not done so we this is how we can convert if we have lower time step from minute to hour so we can we're done here but we have the opposite case we have the higher time step six hour right six hourly data we are going to convert it to hourly data so we have to be able to interpolate so what are the command so we can use we can interpolate so at first it will even use the mean value only mean value and then it will interpolate right so we have to use different types of interpolation method so we are using the same variable name df dot this one and we are just interpolating okay in interpolate so what will be the method of the interpolation we have to specify the method right it will be uh, maybe uh, linear so for this one we are using linear method linear interpolation you can use even a cubic so the power it will be uh, three power cubic so we are using the now linear interpolation so it will, it will linearly interpolate the values right in between six hour to one hour and now we are gonna print that and then we are saving in a separate directory by the new name right the main file name the station name underscore hourly right and if you want to plot if you want to plot so we are plotting the pressure not the wind if you want to plot so we are just uh, assigning okay figure and axis because that is the way to plot and we are assigning the page size it is a4 page and we are assigning the grid and we are gonna even plot the original one okay df and we are plotting because this time it is pressure but we have to specify the first column the first column is the pressure right we saw that and let me show you again the first column for this file it is ndvc 6 or if you want to plot only pressure first column 
so that will be index so that will be the zero right okay so the index of the first column will be zero so we have to use zero and we are putting the color gray and then we are plotting our hourly series we don't need to convert because it was previously different one and it will be also zero so the six hourly data will be in gray and the hourly data will be in blue but you may not yeah get the difference between these two yeah it will be kind of similar and then we are gonna show that okay this will be the pressure okay pa so it is not windy speed anymore so that is uh, six hour pressure and we have even uh, hourly pressure okay hourly pressure and then it will be also in pa okay so we are assigning that units and it will be yeah yeah displaying the legend uh, yeah, in a single column and it will find the best place to put it will do that and the time step will be yeah, the time along the x-axis it will show you the time and along the y-axis we'll have pressure right so it is atmospheric pressure and the unit is this is only for the plotting but you for conversion you don't need that but every time i do i just i have the code so i just repeat everything okay so that's that if i run the code it will at first i have to run it i'm running it and now if i run this cell it will do the job for us okay if there is no error in the code so it is reading see the first file name is 41002.csv it is reading the file that is in six hourly interval can you check that and now it converted to hourly see now it is 700 right seven eight nine ten so can you see that so it converted from hourly to from six hourly to hourly and then it is plotting and you can't see the difference because it is almost same so we use what we use linear interpolation method here so that is the pressure right so these are the pressure and it converted for each of these files so you can go both way even you can convert from hourly to even minute interval even you can convert from daily to hourly so that is also possible if you have the data you can use any interpolation method method and if you have any you know, lower time step data if you want to go upper time step from uh, hourly to daily you have to just use average right so it converted everything it converted everything still it is running you can see that it's running and now see it's done conversion has been done successfully so let me just uh, show you that we have a separate directory here and then we have the hourly series we have the hourly series see the same but the time changed and these values it just got interpolated for the entire data set and you can even specify a single column it will only convert that column as well it is also possible so for this one we just converted everything now we, if you have any now uh, simulated data in that format hourly series you can even compare you can calculate the validation statistics like rmc correlation coefficient nse and mae or any any value you need you can con because of that uh, because of, in order to calculate the validation statistics we need to have the same uh, time step of data set observation and the simulation so that's how we need to convert and this is how we can convert the entire directory right or any number of file you want to convert it is uh, not that hard it is uh, pretty simple you can uh, try by yourself if you have any uh, pro, uh, query you can let me know i'll i can help you with that uh, yeah and you can even search for any uh, sample code it is there in the online but but you won't be able to find the specific code that you need once you need that you can write for yourself you may have different types of data so while reading the file once you are done with reading the file because you may have some missing uh, value right at the beginning of your header then you have to skip that rows i'll show you in, uh, in, in future tutorial that if you need to skip some rows right sometimes we have different types of data set that have some missing rows so we need to skip that so we can do that there will be different types of uh, files so you have to take care of all of these issues and you have to know how to uh, parse 
text files so we can do that in future tutorials so after doing all this processing your data set is ready then you can even compare you can calculate that's not the hard part the hardest part is to do the all this pre-processing once you have done so if you have a code and yeah now you can repeat this process you don't need to even use but you can do the same thing using excel right you can use uh, pivot table if you use pivot table you can do that but you have to click one by one you have to click one by one so it will take like days in if you have like hundreds and thousands of file it, it will be bored and you won't be able to even convert that so once upon a time i was uh, doing the same thing i was using pivot table in excel yeah i was satisfied with that but later on when i have a lot of files and i had to repeat all this process every day every time i need uh, when i have uh, different conditions so then i was thinking man it is not possible so what i did i uh, try to write code by myself and then i have this stage and i can yeah that's, that's why i'm sharing what i had and what i have right now so thank you very much for watching and if you yeah if you have any query or question you can ask me i'll try to answer that question so thank you very much again stay safe